Hi folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying an irresistible stimulator. Basically this is a Frankenfly. It looks mostly like a stimulator, but it has a deer hair body like an irresistible bomber. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Okay, so today we're going to be tying our irresistible stimulator on an S1420 living nymph hook in a size 8. Uh, probably not the correct hook to tie a stimulator pattern on, pattern on, but it's uh, pretty much the closest I have, and uh, you know what? It looks pretty cool too, so why not? So we're just starting off with a white thread base here, and I'm using uh, what am I using? I'm using Danville 70. Just going to bring this thread back until we get down to that bend and we're going to stop there. We're going to next take some elk hair. Got some super nice stuff here from Shore Fishing. And we're going to stack this. We just grabbed a little clump of it. And that's going to be our tail. To be honest, I've been tying these patterns on a little bit of a larger hook because uh, I'm actually intending on trying these for Atlantic Salmon. I am by no means a trout fly tire and uh, most of my trout flies end up being pretty big. So when it comes to these smaller ones, it's not really my, my thing, but you don't get better at something I guess until you kind of push yourself. And the stimulator is a pretty easy pattern to tie. So there we go, that's our elk hair tail. <clears throat> so one of the main differences uh, with this pattern and a regular stimulator is that uh, it incorporates a deer hair body. And today we're gonna be using a burnt orange color Normally it's a dubbing body in the back, but this is a dry fly so deer hair should work really well at keeping this on the surface. And I'm tying this deer hair pretty sparse because I'm going to want to trim this down as close as I can to the shank of the hook. Uh, when you um, really push that deer hair in to uh, compact it, it, uh, it kind of builds up bulk and it makes it harder to trim really close to the shank. So I've done this with uh, like Patty Francis patterns and um, buck bug patterns that are intended to swim uh, subsurface. I think we'll probably go with maybe this will be our last one. Yeah, that will be our last. Alright, so I'm just going to make a few thread wraps here to make sort of a dam to keep these uh, fibers back. And I'm going to tie off. We'll need that thread out of our way to trim now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put something underneath here to catch the clippings because this tends to get pretty messy. And I'm making straight across cuts here because I want almost like a cylinder shape in this body. And we're 
we're just trying to bring it down. Now I'm going to try to trim up the and by sides I mean the ends. So full disclosure, I've never fished this pattern before. Um, it's just kind of something I seen online this year, and I said, "Oh, that is super cool." Uh, stimulator, I guess, is a trope pattern, but uh, I kind of have my eyes set on fishing this for Atlantic Salmon this year. Alright, so that is our back body. Now I'm going to get that thread back on there. Alright, and we're going to go with our back hackle, which today we're going to go with a brown and we're using um, rooster saddle for that. And I actually am making a little bit of uh, bulk thread dam here and uh, I feel like that's going to help us get our elk hair wing that we're going to put in after at uh, more of a slant towards the back instead of standing straight up. thread back through and let's bring that back up again and I'm just kind of wiggling that thread just to get it down between the deer fibers all right so that is our back body our next step is to put the elk hair wing in this so I'm just building this up a little bit and again the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to create a little bit of a dam between this deer hair and the thread so the elk hair can kind of tip towards the back. So we're going to take our elk hair again and snip off a piece. Try to get that uh, under furrowed as much as possible. I'm going to stack that as well. I love the look of this pattern. It's super buggy looking. This elk hair has a little bit of its own natural bend to it, so I'm going to try to make sure that that bends the way I want it to bend. So I'll put some tighter wraps down towards this end of the cut end, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to make some looser wraps up here. And by making those looser wraps, this should not flare like that. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good there. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. All right. Uh, so now we're going to use a grizzly for the front hackle on this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tie that in now. And we'll have that done. And 
and we're going to use dubbing in the front for the uh, material under the hackle and today I'm going to use um, rabbit rabbit fur dubbing I like this stuff it uh, just goes on really nice and neat so and I'm going to be use it's a like a light olive color So we got our dubbing on, we're going to wrap our hackle now. And uh, you can do this sparse or you can do it thicker. I'm going to go ahead and do it thicker because I'm a real sucker for a hackle. Um, I love lots of it. Makes a nice full front hackle and I like that. I'm going to tie that off now. And I think we are also, I could have used orange thread, makes it a little bit easier, but um, I, I guess it's no secret that I really like using Glow Bright. Uh, it's a UV reflectant uh, product. And there is some studies on um, UV reflectant materials in flies. Uh, and how salmonid species react to it. So I'm not sure how true it is, but in the absent, absence of uh, hard science, I think I'll just go and use it and just kind of rely on that until someone tells me otherwise. And you can see that creates a nice little orange head on there. <laughs> Tie that off. All right, and that is a irresistible stimulator, which is a cross between a uh, irresistible fly and a stimulator. I think this was a super cool variant to the both patterns. And uh, I'm no fish whisperer, but I look at this and I'm kind of seeing strikes all day long. So thank you very much for stopping by and watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, I would really appreciate that. But uh, if that's not your thing, I totally understand as well. That's cool. Just uh, thanks for popping by.